Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is HEDIS, the Healthcare Effectiveness Data and Information Set. Now, I mentioned HEDIS in a prior video, and I had some questions from viewers about what HEDIS is, and I think it's an excellent topic to go talk about. So thank you so much for asking about it. Now, HEDIS is created by the NCQA. So you got one acronym and then you got another one immediately, which is the National Committee for Quality Assurance. It is a nonprofit organization near Washington, D.C. It is not part of the government, even though it sounds like it's part of the government. They should really call it the private nonprofit healthcare quality organization that the government just happens to use. Now, it measures 412, it being HEDIS, they measure 412 Medicare Advantage plans when it comes to quality, 171 Medicaid plans, and 438 commercial plans. So you look at those numbers and immediately you say to yourself, how in the world are there that many health insurance plans in America? I thought there was only Blue Cross United, Cigna Aetna, maybe Humana. <laughs> it's like, where do you get these numbers from? And the reason is that they have all these numbers is, is that, especially let's just look at the 438 commercial plans because most of the viewers are brokers, HR, CFOs, employer uh, space folks, is that look, they list out each individual HMO, point of service plan, PPO plan for various Blue Cross United Signet Edna plans, also by state. So they got the United PPO plan for Texas, the United PPO plan for Arizona, the Blue Cross, PPO plan for Minnesota, the Blue Cross HMO plan for Minnesota. So by the time you put all those permutations and combinations together, you get close to 438. Okay, so that's how you sort of put those numbers into context. And for all those Medicare Advantage plans, right, again, United and Humana are the huge behemoths when it comes to Medicare Advantage. Cigna and Aetna does some. But then you've got to remember that there are physician groups and hospitals themselves that actually run Medicare Advantage plans. Like they you know, they sell plans, they collect premium, and they take on risk. So that's where that's coming from. And then for the Medicaid plans, remember that there's a lot of Medicaid managed care plans. So in other words, even though if you're on state Medicaid, you're not literally getting your insurance from the state. North Carolina does fee-for-service Medicaid, but it's like the only one. You're getting it from like an insurance company that's giving you your state Medicaid. So that's why there's so many different Medicaid plans. Now, some examples of these measures. What in the world are they measuring? Okay, they measure like mammogram screening rates for women that fall within the right age range, okay? They do uh, the use of beta blockers in myocardial infarctions or heart attacks, right? Beta blocker is a medication that is known to increase survival in people when they have heart attacks. So they measure like, hey, person comes into the hospital, do they have a heart attack and are they getting a beta blocker? Next up is hemoglobin A1C control and hypertension control for people with diabetes and high blood pressure. Okay, so they fall into different categories, right? So you have like mammography, that's like a screening quality score. Then you've got use of beta blockers. Okay, so that's not an outcome. That's not did you survive or not survive your heart attack. It's a, it's a process measure. So they do process measures. And then they do outcomes measures too. So the outcome is, is okay, well, how good is your blood sugar controlled as of the hemoglobin A1, as measured by the hemoglobin A1C? And then how well is your blood pressure controlled uh, as, you know, measuring stock and diagnostic pressure? So it's a combination of screening, process, and outcomes measures. And there's 90 of them total, 90 of them. Now, the way that HEDIS is organized is very important in regards to its context. Now remember, we're measuring healthcare quality by measuring the quality of plans. You're like, well, wait a second. Plans don't do mammograms. Plans don't use beta blockers. Plans don't control hemoglobin A1Cs. Hospitals and doctors and nurses do. So what HEDIS is doing is HEDIS is measuring the quality of the plan, and then the plan is then contracting with the doctors, the different physician practices, the hospitals, the m surgery centers, the imaging centers. So in other words, it to a certain extent, if you're measuring the quote-unquote quality, it's like measuring the temperature in Dallas by measuring the, the aggregate temperature in America, right? So it's very hard to hone down on the quality of a specific provider when it's being aggregated at the plan level. Okay, so how can you then how can you measure how can how could the plan be a proxy for provider quality? Well, if the plan uses um, steerage and narrow networks, so in other words, 
Steerage meaning an, an, uh, an HMO gatekeeper, a PCP gatekeeper. So in other words, you'd be like, okay, well, yeah, I could maybe measure the plan if the plan was in control of the PCP in terms of like screening for the mammograms. Or maybe I could measure the plan if they were using a narrow network and they were like cutting out hospitals that weren't using beta blockers for, uh, for MIs. And guess what? Those HMO and narrow network PPO plans, that's exactly what Medicare Advantage plans use, right? And why do they do that? Because Medicare Advantage payments by the by the government, in part, depend on the HEDIS scores from NCQA. Also, the ratings of the Medicare Advantage plan. So if you, as an individual of the age of 65, are signing up for one of these plans, you can look to see what the star ratings are from NCQA and HEDIS. And then also, if you receive a five-star rating from NCQA, then you, as a Medicare Advantage plan, you can enroll people year-round. If you don't have a high rating, you can only do people during open enrollment uh, in the fall. Right, so there's very specific reasons why these Medicare Advantage plans would want to have these high. Now, if you're using a Blue Cross United Signet Aetna PPO uh, plan, in my opinion, these NCQA HEDIS scores are not really relevant because the, the information is so aggregated that it's in, incredibly hard, if not impossible, to drill down to the specific provider level. Now, there's other data sources and other ways to drill down to the specific provider level, but it's really hard to do it through HEDIS on the commercial PPO level. So I just want to, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, I can go on forever, but I will stop for today. But I wanted to give you some context around HEDIS and NCQA. And thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.